Hello everyone, and I hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the return of G4 TV and the meltdown of the Froskerin. I hope you enjoy, or at least find the video informative. Now, after over a decade of silence, G4 TV has returned, and one of its newest hosts has decided to alienate gamers and pop culture fans everywhere with a hate-fueled, radical feminist rant. For this host is none other than Indiana Black, better known as Froskerin. Froskerin? Sounds like a cross between Frost and Foreskin, if you ask me. Anyway, this woman made it clear that she's not there to be pleasing on the eyes. Well, obviously, she looks like a man, <laughs> and verbally attacked the male and lesbian audience for liking the so-called objectifying of women on television. However, she did not blame this on the writers and the producers of the original G4 TV, who showed the prior female hosts in a rather sexual manner, some of which were still part of the new, woke G4 TV. Kind of hypocritical, if you ask me. Anyway, I think Frosty Foreskin herself has made G4 TV a laughing stock for content creation, as G4 TV desperately deletes comments criticizing them on their live streams. They know that they are in the wrong, and like Froskerin herself said during her hateful tirade, quote, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Well, <laughs> Those words could well serve as the beginning of the end for G4 TV and its return, as Frosty Foreskin has filled the show with political correctness, social justice, and woke ideology nonsense that has and will continue to drive gamers and pop culture lovers away from this revived show that was once great in the past, but is now a shadow of its former self. Yet another show reduced to being a woke zombie fest. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Suggestions are always welcome in the comments section down below. Do take care. Have yourselves a peaceful and prosperous day. Bye for now.